Hey guys, what's up? Bob here. Welcome to Pika Week 1. So, uh, this is the first week of the Pika Tournament. I'm matched up against Mikey Flame and his Chelsea Shandies. They're a really, really nasty team. Uh, one of the top teams early in, like, in the power rankings. And I got matched up against them Week 1. Um, so, let me pop up the teams and we'll explain what's, uh, what's going on. So, I've got Palatoad, Tornadus, Kingdra, Kabalion, Jirachi, and... Uh, what you call it? Rotom, which is a really interesting, it's actually a really good team, uh, just in terms of, like, generally, I've been using it a lot on Showdown, and it functions pretty well. Um, Tornadus is special, uh, Palatoad is defensive, I wanted to have a defensive Palatoad, just, uh, in terms of, like, uh, being able to take some hits, um, it really didn't do that as well as I was hoping it would, but it was getting hit with really powerful stuff, uh, I probably shouldn't have let that happen. Uh, let's see, Kingdra is physical with, uh, I threw Ice Beam on there, I was really, really afraid of Salamence, and I didn't want to lock myself into Outrage in case he brought in his Gardevoir, because then I would have just died. Um, Kabalion is just rocks, uh, it's max speed, max attack, rocks, taunt, and then two stab moves, Iron Head, and Close Combat, uh, which is pretty much just, like, standard Kabalion set. I feel like I could have gotten a little bit more creative with it. But I wanted to have another Steel type just in case that uh, Gardevoir did something. And uh, last, uh, or the last two guys, uh, Jirachi, Physical, uh, Scarf Set, and um, Rotom, who is Leftovers, just bulky set. Um, questionable choices on my part. Uh, definitely the Tornadus. Uh, should have been mixed. Probably should have been Life Orb. I had Scarf. Again, super afraid of that Salamence that he didn't bring. Let's bring up his team. Uh, he's got a Gardevoir, which is his Mega, Gengar, which is just really good generally. He's got Landorus T, which sets up rocks and just, it hits pretty hard, and even if you don't invest in its attacking stats, uh, and he can run it really defensively. Uh, Hitmontop, which is a really, really nasty defensive Pokemon, um, and it's just like with Intimidate, with that Fighting Stab. It, and, of course, Rapid Spin to keep rocks off of his side of the field, so he could... I, I'm assuming he was running uh, Sash on his Gengar. Uh, his Snorlax is really, really nasty. It basically sponges up every special hit you throw at it. And last but not least, his uh, Vileplume, which is a Vileplume. And if you haven't run into Vileplume before, uh, he's really good in this sort of draft format because he's a low-tier pick that can actually function very well in pretty much any tier. Or, you know, like any... Uh, against higher tier foes because of that typing, which is good against fairies now, uh, because grass typing kind of helps uh, in certain situations. In this, it's definitely going to help because I have three water types. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and uh, start the battle. I'll explain. I'll do narrations, all that good stuff. So uh, let's go now. Okay, so he brings out his uh, Gardevoir as his lead. I lead with Palatoad. I figured I could get a brain really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out. I go into Jirachi, hoping to be able to uh, sponge up a fairy hit and uh, retaliate. But he crits me, which uh, is going to do a lot of damage. Um, so that's nasty. So he goes ahead and brings in his Hitmontop. And I U-turn. He was definitely expecting either the U-turn or the uh, Iron Head. So, uh, probably the Iron Head. But uh, that U-turn lets me go into Tornadus. Unfortunately, he has an all-purpose switch in with that uh, Snorlax. I am Scarf, I can't switch moves, and I don't even have a fighting move to hit him with. So, unfortunately, I gotta switch. We go into Kabalion to try and, uh, hopefully threaten it out and set up rocks. Unfortunately, he's got this, uh, this, what you call it, Lando, and he predicts well. He U-turns. I should have set up rocks or done something, but, oh well. Anyways, uh, he brings in his Vileplume. I've got Rotom in here. I don't want to stay in with Rotom, so I have Volt Switch. I am faster. That's uh, good information. I mean, I pretty much knew I was faster unless he was offensive. But I go into Kobalion, hoping that my Steel Typing can just let me heat up, heat up hits. Um, and it does. Uh, so I set up my Stealth Rocks. Unfortunately for him, he misses his Sleep Powder here. Uh, and I really lucked out there. I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to taunt again or er, taunt now. And just not let him get up another Sleep Powder. Uh, so now he's got a switch. I'm going to take this opportunity to see what I can do to his team with an Iron Head. Uh, as it turns out, nothing. Um, with that Intimidate, he's got a nasty Intimidate core that I'm just going to have really uh, a really hard time with. So now he's going to get that free Rapid Spin off. I could have gone into Jirachi here, 
but I uh, didn't really want to risk it getting hit with anything on the Switch. It is neutral to fighting, uh, and I figured Rotom could take it better. So he goes Toxic, um, as I miss a Will-O-Wisp, which would have really helped later, you'll see, but oh well. So I hit a Will-O-Wisp on, uh, on his Vile Plume now, and that's, eh, it's not the worst thing ever, but it's not going to be super, super useful. So now I'm Volt Switching out, and I uh, gotta go back into Politoed. I figured a Sleep Powder was coming, and I, uh, Politoed actually has Sleep Talk, so that's not the worst thing ever. I do have to switch out now, but I can go into Tornadus and threaten this thing out. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. And unfortunately, I actually just go for Box Standard, I'm gonna try to Hurricane you, and he does still have that Snorlax, and I can't do anything. Oh no wait, no, I don't do that, because I knew Snorlax was coming in. Ha ha! Fooled you. Anyways, so Snorlax comes in, I can't do anything to it with Tornadus, so Kabalian had to come in. Now I'm going to try to make a nice double switch here, and ideally, he was going to, my plan was, he was going to overpredict and stay in because he thought that I would uh, just switch back into Kabalian or something, I don't know. Uh, I Hurricane, I crit, and I confuse him, which is good, but on the other hand, it doesn't actually save me here. Kingdra comes in, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hit this thing with a waterfall, and he attacks through confusion and crits me with the return, which absolutely destroys Kingdra. Um, I should have predicted Vileplume coming in here and gone for the Ice Beam, but I get for waterfall, I figured it was safe-ish, um, but on the other hand, safe doesn't win games, as we see. So now I go Ice Beam, uh, I guess he thought I would go for a Dragon move, so he goes into this, and... That's my last turn of rain, so I have to switch out. Jirachi can't take another if he crits or whatever with that hyper voice. So uh, I have to go into Politoed. And I figured uh, I'm on a timer with Kingdra anyway, so I might as well just use Politoed one last time and not really worry about it dying. Uh, here, I could have predicted and uh, gone for the Ice Beam, but he does have priority on that uh, Hitmon top. He's got rocks that he can set up later. So, if I had tried to get too creative and, like, keeping Kingdra around with, like, 2% HP, it would have really bit me in the butt later. So now he's got uh, his Snorlax. I only have two really good things I can bring in, and it has Curse. So, I have to... S I probably should have switched here, like, Volt switched out. I go for another Will-O-Wisp. I wanted to see if it had Rest, and uh, I figured if I switch out now, even if he like, you know, attacks, because I, I wanted to see what he'd do, basically, and, uh, he does have rest, so I Volt Switch, I go into Cobalion, and, uh, unfortunately, he, he rests up, and he's back in full health. Um, now for this, I should have, again, I don't know what I should have done here, but I go for the close combat, not really predicting a switch, I figured if he's got these boosts in already, he's probably gonna, or no, I, sorry, I taunt. Um, I should have closed combat it actually, but whatever. I didn't really have a lot to do about it. So he goes into his uh, his thing and throws a close combat at me and crits my Tornadus. Uh, that's kind of a, a theme here. He's gonna crit me a lot, and I, I figured he'd switch. So I go back into Kabalion, um, and I go for what Iron Head I think. No, I get, yeah close combat. Okay, whatever. It does nothing anyway because uh, it had Intimidate. And now, I'm pretty much lost if I can't just, like, kill this thing. I figured that right from the start. So I'm gonna see if I can just flinch it to death. I know that's, like, really a crummy strategy, but I don't really have a lot else to do in this situation. Uh, the only other really decent option would have been to go into Tornadus, let it die, and then bring in Jirachi and try to Zen Headbutt Sweep. Uh, that probably wouldn't have happened. So, unfortunately, Kabalian dies, and, uh... Rachi comes in, gets mock punched, and he's gonna wear me down. I thought he would switch, so I went for Iron Head, uh, thinking, like, if you brought in Gardevoir, I wouldn't have brought in Gardevoir. But, I don't know. I, I figured Iron Head would be the better option than Zed Headbutt. It ends up being almost the same, although that extra damage might have cost me later. So I go into Rotom against his, uh, Tornado, or er, sorry, Landorus. Obvious switch is obvious. He knocks off, and he hurts me behead. Um, and now I've got to try to pain split up because Snorlax was obvious. Um, so here's big kind of moment of truth. I'm going to Volt Switch, or no, why did I hard switch? Into Jirachi and he goes for the sleep talk and kills me. Um, unfortunately, 
Even though that resists, it's uh, he gets enough damage off on it to kill, and that means it's game. Um, so, yeah, basically, um, he definitely outplayed me, um, just all, all in all. Um, I think that, I don't really know if I could have beaten him with this team with how well he played. If I had switched up my moves, probably, um, but... I don't know. I did not plan well with my uh, with my attacks. With my guys, probably, but with my attacks, no. So I end up losing this game, unfortunately. Um, it ends up going like 40, I think, what, yeah, 44 turns or something. So that's a lot uh, for one of my games. If it had gone more, actually, what? It, it's still going. Holy cow. Um, I figured if it went more than like 22 turns, I probably would lose. So, and it was like turn 14 before I even did anything. Yeah, not, not my best game, unfortunately. So, um, what did I do wrong? Let's watch this finish, and I'll, I'll explain what I think I did wrong. Uh, and it's a lot, which is fair. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and look. So, I pretty much planned my entire team around him building a team around Salamence. I really didn't think too much of the Vile Plume, which was my undoing. Uh, same with the Hitmontop. I didn't even think he'd bring it. Um, because I had, you know, a, a nasty flying attack that was specially based. I had a, a nasty he uh, Zen Headbutt, which I didn't use because I'm dumb. Um, I did not think he would bring the Hitmontop, and I thought for sure he'd bring that to Elements. So, I, a lot of my guys were specifically there to deal with Salamence. And, like... The, uh, the Tornadus was pretty much useless outside of killing Salamence. And when he didn't have it, I was... That really threw me. So, that was... Because uh, I thought it would be a Scarfmance, basically. Um, his team was really nasty, really bulky. Which is definitely a problem with how I built my team. Um, which I, I can entirely accept. That's, uh, you know, that's something I done goofed with. Uh, there's crits early and late and everywhere kind of hurt um i don't think they mattered in the long run except for maybe that one on jirachi uh i definitely played badly i think i i i would have done better if i had played better but i don't necessarily know with how i planned i don't necessarily know if that would have really helped so um that's kind of a bummer uh starting off not super amazing but uh we we will jump back we will be uh we'll bounce back Next time we have the Jackson Jump Luffs, um, I'm going to go ahead and look at their team now. Uh, I have looked at it before, but I'm going to look at it on camera now. He did not uh, franchise anything. He's got Mega Metacham, Skarmory, Gyarados, Porygon 2, Galvantula, Escavalier, really? Seismitoad, Tyranitar, Kofagrigus, Nidoking, and Jump Luff. His team has a really nasty bulky core, uh, same, uh, or, you know, like similar to the last guy I fought. Um, between Skarmory, Gyarados, or sorry, between Skarmory, Porygon 2, even a Scavalier on the physical side can be really bulky. Tyranitar in Sand can be nasty. Uh, and Jumpluff can be really annoying if you don't play around it too well. This guy could be a, a, a bit of a threat. I think I can beat him though, uh, with my guys. Um, I think I have a decent matchup against him. So we're going to go ahead and start planning for that now, and uh, hopefully we'll do better. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I implore you to check out Mikey Flame's video. Um, I'm going to link it in the description. Hopefully, he'll upload it at the same time or before I do so that I know what the link is. Uh, if not, then I will uh, definitely put it in when he uploads because I am in contact with him. Um, but yeah, check out his side of it. Um, if you want to hear competent battling... Um, I think he did a lot better than I did, and uh, his thought process should be a lot better. So, uh, and hey, he might insult me, and everybody likes insulting me, right? Nah, no, kidding. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's uh, that's week one for Pika. I'm 0-1. We will bounce back, I swear, guys. Uh, we're not going to do horrible this time, or, you know, like, uh, in our first season. But, um, yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed. Uh, links to everything Pika-related will be in the description. Uh, all the other battlers, the spreadsheet, analysts, all that stuff. So uh, feel free to check it out if you're into that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, 
I will see you later. So, um, bye guys.